Hi guys, it's Luke from Adam Builds, and today I have, I guess, Kogan's answer to the Kmart Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. So, let's see if they could do any better. Okay, so this is what Kogan have in their range of mechanical gaming keyboards. The really handy thing, what Kogan have done, is they give you a choice of the key switch that you would like. So this one in particular is a red switch. Um, I like that, I like being given that option. I'm not a fan of blues, so that came out keyboard straight off the bat. I, I didn't really like to start with. A couple of other things that this guy has that the Kmart one doesn't is the secondary function on the F keys, they actually have printed what they do, uh, or at least an icon to give you an idea of what they do. So that's cool, that's quite handy. A little bit different stylized font to it, it does make it look somewhat cool. It can be a little bit confusing about what certain keys are, but uh, you know, the reality is it's a standard keyboard, so the keys are in the standard places. Um, so, let's have a look at this RGB mechanical keyboard. So again, I really wish that companies wouldn't use this RGB moniker, you know, since realistically, there's, there's not even red on this. I guess the keys are red, but these lights, much like exactly the same as the Kmart keyboard, are static. You cannot change the color of the row. You can change the lighting effect, but you can't change the color. The thing that I do really like about this guy though, is it might have a plastic base there. There's no drip, weeping sort of holes on this guy, but I don't think that's really going to be an issue for most of us, right? Um, but the top of it is aluminium, so the faceplate is like an, uh, an aluminium. It's it's a nice feel. It's sturdy. It feels a lot sturdier. The rest, you know, it it's a lot less slidey than that mechanical keyboard was. It's it's slightly better construction. Looking at the lighting functions here, and so the this keyboard acts pretty much the same way as the Kmart one, holding function and hitting that insert will cycle you through the different color functions. Quite disappointing here, the lighting functions are only lighting an entire row at a time, and they are largely uh, reverse directions. So, uh, the other really disappointing thing is you only get nine lighting effects, including off. So yeah, that's disappointing, but the arrow keys work the same way as well, with the up and down arrow key being the LED brightness, uh, obviously increasing and decreasing, and the left and right arrow keys being that uh, changing the speed in which the lighting effect reacts. So yeah, all in all, sort of disappointing. So the the thing is at least the Kmart one had this addressable you know there was a movement this way like this is just this it's it's the lighting effect is a little bit well it's a lot poor to be honest um, if you want an RGB keyboard this isn't it. If you want something that Feel solid, has a decent amount of colour, like if you've got a multicoloured setup, you know, a rainbow has vomited on your PC, then hey, this this would be a great addition. The, the thing that I really like is you get to choose your, your key switches, and you know, this guy, it, it does, you know, the, the keys are... red they still have that little bit of a twang that the blues have but nowhere near as violent with that twang um, so you know with all of the same features as the Kmart one I gotta say a, a fair bit better build quality 
if I'm being honest, cheaper. Well, you can't get hold of those at the moment anyway. I've got to say, out of the two, I'd prefer this on my desk. But there are other keyboards out there that are true RGB for realistically not that much more. And if I'm being honest, that's sort of where I'd land. Um, look, I mean, for a budget mechanical keyboard, and if you're not a fan of the blue keys that, you know, even this new keyboard that Kmart's bringing out, they're gonna be blue keys again. I'm not really looking forward to getting hold of that keyboard, but I will for you guys. But what I'm saying is that there are alternatives Yes, there is shipping included in this, but if you're going to be ordering a few things, then get your keyboard mouse, a couple of things from Kogan maybe. It's a really good option. Also, don't forget that places like Officeworks and, you know, your local computer supplier will have budget gaming keyboards as well. And I'm really interested to see some of your guys' setups. Do you go for just the keyboard that came with your mum's Acer PC five years ago and you're just using that because you don't really care about keyboards? Or have you gone and spent $250 on the latest ROG keyboard? I'd really like to know. If you wouldn't mind, could you please comment what you're using below? And also, if you could please comment keyboards that you'd like me to have a look into, I'll see what I can do. Anyway guys, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I've got more videos on the way and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.